The unknowns in this problem are the number of students and the number of adults who have bought tickets to the movie. So I'm going to let x equal the number of student tickets sold and y equal the number of adult tickets sold. Now I have to set up a system of equations and solve it to determine x and y. Well, there are 288 tickets sold overall. Some of them are student tickets, some of them are adult tickets. So the first equation will be x plus y equals 288. In other words, the number of students and the number of adults must add to 288. Now, because the cost of a student ticket is $8, I can represent the total cost of the number of student tickets sold as 8x or 8 times x. In a similar fashion, since the cost of an adult ticket is $12, the total cost of the number of adult tickets sold can be represented by 12y or 12 times y. Now the total ticket receipts for the movie are $2,736. So the second equation will be 8x plus 12y equals 2,736. In other words, the total cost of the student tickets added to the total cost of the adult tickets will come to 2,736. So I have two equations and two variables x plus y equals 288, I'll call that equation 1, 8x plus 12y equals 2736, I'll call that equation 2. Now I could use either the elimination method or the substitution method to solve this system. Since the coefficients of the variables in the first equation are 1, I'm going to use the substitution method. So I'm going to focus first on equation number 1, x plus y equals 288. I'm going to solve for x. So I want to get x by itself on the left-hand side. To do that, I'm going to subtract y from the left-hand side. But if I subtract y from the left-hand side, I must also subtract y from the right-hand side. y minus y is 0. So on the left-hand side, I'll have x. On the right-hand side, I'll have 288 minus y. So x equals 288 minus y. Now, I'm going to substitute the expression for x into equation 2 and solve for y. Well, equation 2 is 8x plus 12y equals 2,736. So where I see x, I'm going to replace it by 288 minus y. Now, the 8 will get multiplied by this piece but the 8 will also get multiplied by this piece. So I'll get 2,304 minus 8y plus 12y equals 2,736. Now I've got light terms here. Minus 8y plus 12y is 4y. So I'll get 2,304 plus 4y equals 2,736. Now I want to get y by itself on the left-hand side. To do that, I'm going to subtract 2,304 from the left-hand side, but because I do it to the left-hand side, I must also subtract 2,304 from the right-hand side. 2,304 minus 2,304 will be 0. So on the left-hand side, I'll get 4y. On the right-hand side, 2,736 minus 2,304 is 432. So I get 4y equals 432. Now I want y by itself on the left-hand side. 4y means 4 times y. So to get y by itself, I'm going to divide the left-hand side by 4. But because I divide the left-hand side by 4, I must also divide the right-hand side by 4. 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times y will be just y on the left-hand side. 432 divided by 4 is 108 on the right-hand side, so I'll have y equals 108. Now, I'm going to substitute y equal 108 into either equation and solve for x. Well, I'm going to substitute y equals 108 into equation 1. So equation 1 was x plus y equals 288. So where I see y, I'm going to replace it by 108. So I get x plus 108 equals 288. I want to get x by itself on the left-hand side, so I'm going to subtract 108 from the left-hand side, but if I subtract 108 from the left-hand side, I must also subtract 108 from the right-hand side. 108 
minus 108 is 0. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to have x. On the right-hand side, 288 subtract 108 is 180. So I get x equals 180. Therefore, 180 students and 108 adults bought tickets to the movie.